Hi everyone, this is Xiao Long Chen from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, Guangzhou, and I'm a PhD student、uh, supervised by Professor Jin Tang. And frankly speaking, this is the first time that I I、uh, present a work in a conference. So uh, please uh, please forgive me if I got stumbled. Um, here's the motivation.、Uh, as we all know, link recommendation systems exist、uh, exist on various social online social medias such as Instagrams, suggested for you and access who who to follow. And a lot of researchers have used、uh, used link re recommendation systems to、uh, for a, a a large number of uh, uh, various purposes. Such as、uh, improving the centrality or、uh, breaking the、uh, filter bubbles, and the problem we are interested here is to use link recommendation to maximize social influence of、uh, given users. And formally speaking, the problem is defined as below: given a graph, a seed set, and a budget k, the influence maximization with augmentation. Abbreviated as IMA,、uh, problem aims to identify k edges、uh, to to recommend fr from to recommend the seeds from、uh, from the seeds to to the ordinary users, and in order to maximize the augmented influence spread of S. And here, sigma a S means the influence of、uh, S after adding the edge set a. And this problem is、uh, theoretically very hard, and it has been proven to be NP-hard. But fortunately, the objective function is、uh, is monotone and submodular, which、uh, which makes a simple a simple greedy framework able to provide a a guaranteed solution.、Uh, but due to the sh hardness sharpy hardness of estimating the influence spread of、uh, Of S,、um, we a previous approach is to use Monte Carlo simulation to estimate the influence. However, this approach is very time-consuming, both、uh, both theoretically and practically. And so, people develop a a new method, a, a new sampling technique to accelerate the estimation of.、Uh, Of of influence spread, and、uh, which is called reverse influence sampling, and the key idea is that influential nodes are frequently being reverse reachable from other nodes. For example,、uh, we can see the right right figure here.、Uh, A is very influential, right? So if we start a traverse from other nodes, like from B from CDE, and we finally will encounter node A. And with this idea,、um, a random R set is defined. Uh, uh, R R set、uh, means、uh, reverse reachable set, and、uh, it is defined as the nodes that、uh, will be activated in the reverse traversal process、uh, from a random node.、Uh, Then, by sampling a large number of RR sets,、uh, it, a, a well-established ob observation is that the fraction of RR sets that S appears in is actually the fra fra the fraction of nodes that S will influence. And a more concrete example is given here, and we can、uh, we can see that C. C appear node C appears in uh five, R five random R sets. Then we we can say that a、uh, four fifth of the R sets are covered by C, and thus we infer that four fifth of nodes will be influenced by C. And with with this, a、uh, trivial idea is to replace the estimator by RIS, right? However, um. It is still unacceptable because we need a lot of uh, uh, we need a lot of calls of the of the RIS sampling process,、uh, which is、uh, k times the size of the candidate set. 
uh, this is not good enough. So we need to find a better way, find a more elegant way to integrate RIS uh, with the greedy framework. Here comes our method. Uh, first, we, we provide a lemma stating that when you estimate the influence of a new coming edge, uh, e pointing from u to v, uh, we can compute the we can compute it uh, based on the current topology. Uh, we can uh, compute it by by combining the influence of s cup v and influence of s in the current topology, and by sample by sampling a large number of R sets, we can. Uh, we can maintain accurate estimates on on uh, on sigma a s cup v and uh, sigma a s, and uh, meaning that we can use the coverage of s and s cup v to to uh, to evaluate to evaluate the quality the marginal gain of uh, of selecting an edge, and with this approach we. Don't need to. We can get rid of a, a large number of uh, of add, estimate, and drop operations per iteration. So, um, so we, and thus uh, achieving the goal that uh, we uh, achieving the goal to efficiently estimate the um, marginal gain of all candidate edges. But another problem here is how to maintain the accuracy after adding an edge into the solution set. Uh, after we select an edge uh, pointing from u star to v star, uh, we need to insert the edge into the network so that so that the, the estimation is still accu accurate uh, in the next iteration. Uh, this is actually similar to the scenario of dynamic influence ma maximization. Uh, a previous approach is to uh, update the sampled R set, uh, which means that we can update all, or we can traverse all the R sets include uh, that contains V star and and start a, a reverse traversal from from it. Mm, however, uh, we we find that with uh, with the good proper property of our problem, which is uh, recommending seeds to the to the ordinary users. We the the R setup updates process can be implemented in a soft way, which means we can uh, flip a coin for this R set and see whether it will be influenced by U star or not. And uh, with this updating approach, uh, we, as we only need to flip the flip a coin once for each R set, uh, we we can um, we can bound the time time complexity in a very good way. And with this with this technique, we avoid resampling after adding an edge to the solution, and thus maintaining the estimation accuracy all the way. And uh, but then we need to uh, decide how many R sets we need to sample uh, to generate a theoretically guaranteed solution. But this part is actually uh, trivial because uh, uh, because most of them are utilizing existing existing works. And first is estimation error to to guarantee the overall error term uh, is. Uh, Epsilon, we need to we need to ensure that the estimation error of each iteration is is roughly epsilon over k because in a greedy framework, if you cannot get the exact computation of uh, the objective function, you, you the error will be uh, will be accumulated, and then we use a generalized stopping rule to estimate uh, sigma s and. Finally, we need as we use the a, a, a same set of R sets that to carry out a lot of a lot of estimations. We need to uh, uh, we use a union bound to determine the 
sampling number. And we name our algorithm AIS, meaning the uh, augmenting the influence of seeds. And the overall framework is very simple. You, you first do a large number of sampling, and then you just select and update. And the theoretical time complexity of uh, each part are given here. And with the, with the greedy framework and some modularity pro property of this problem, we can get an approximation ratio of 1 minus 1 over E minus epsilon. And the previous mentioned uh, greedy framework in instantiated with uh, Monte Carlo simulations uh, ha 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 has such a form, form of uh, time complexity. And we can see that our algorithm AIS is far more better than it. And for the experiments, we compare AIS with MC greedy on two smaller data sets. And it is worth mentioning that uh, the, the setting is actually to the advantage of uh, MC greedy because we only set the number of simulations as one as 10,000. 10, but still, uh, while our algorithm is uh, performed by keeping the theoretical guarantee, but still our algorithm is more far more efficient than MC greedy. And then we extend to our test to very large data sets with uh, uh, with million up to millions of uh, nodes and billions of edges. We can see that our algorithm actually performs uh, far better than a lot of uh, other baselines. And the bottleneck actually lies on sampling but not updating because when when you uh, when a baseline is to conduct a AIS without updating, and we can find that the the time cost of such uh, two algorithms are basically the same. So meaning that updating actually co costs not very much. And finally, we okay okay. Um, I just I'll just wrap it up. Thank you. Uh, and we also find that we have, by reducing a lot of samples, we still can can get a very a, get very good performance. So our future work will be try to trying to discover a better bound for it. And that's all. And welcome you guys to visit HKUSD Guangzhou, a very young university. And yeah, that's all. Thank you.